Hey there. Just a quick little check-in. I wanted to go over some tools that we use here on the farm to make our lives a little easier and to keep those weeds at bay. So just like all farms, we deal with weeds uh, within our cultivated beds, which can be a pain. So we've taken a lot of time over the years to discern what tools will help us best alleviate some of the weed pressure. Uh, there are kind of four classes that we use. One is we just use our hands and pull out whatever we can. Um, as you can imagine, not the most efficient way to weed a 12 acre farm. So we also use hand tools. We use upright, like kind of hand tools with long sticks, I guess is what we'll call them. And then you can use also mechanized weeding. Today I'm gonna focus on handheld tools and long handled tools to give you an idea of how we keep the weeds at least to a minimum. So for hand tools, we have tried so many hand tools over the years. We've kind of limited it down to these four that I'm gonna talk about today. They're the ones that we use the most frequently. We have some other hand tools that are in buckets here and there and every once in a while they'll get pulled out, but these are the ones that we are our go-tos. Um, one is a hori hori. So this is just a straight, serrated on one edge, sharp on the other edge. We use this for all kinds of things. Weeding wise, you can kind of stab in, you can kind of scrape the surface. We also use this for planting to pull back and plant seedlings. So super important tool is a hori hori. Um, we also have these little handheld wire, wire weeders. We got these ones from Johnny's Select Seeds. We love them. Uh, they are really good for in between plants, kind of fine work. They have two different sizes. There's a longer, longer edge and then there's this kind of shorter edge that can really get you in there. Again, for more kind of fine work, things that will take a little bit more detail-oriented effort. Uh, really great, especially in the hoop houses, because they don't work as well maybe on like real moist soil. You like it to be kind of right between too dry and just a little bit too wet. They work great, especially with small weeds. This is just a little, I guess, handheld mini hula hoe. Uh, these are great, especially within our beds that have rows of plants because you can get a real straight pull. Again, best with the soil being just on the, slightly on the drier side, but they shear the weeds off right below the surface, uh, especially with weeds that are, you know, between a week and four weeks in. Little weeds, this is a great one. And then our the weeding tool that we probably use the most is this. It's uh, a kana hole, kana ho. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. But it's kind of a, like a slightly elongated, almost scythe shaped hoe and it has a sharp edge. We sharpen them. So that's another thing to have in your, in your bucket of tools is a sharpener because uh, we like to keep them real, real sharp and smooth so that we can weed through the weeds. Um, this one is nice because it has this little point so you can kind of get in amongst the weeds a little bit more effectively than you can with the hula hoe, but just a really great tool to hand weed through anywhere you need to. All right, so long-handed tools. Essentially the difference being that these handheld tools were down on the ground, were hunched over. It can be very backbreaking. Long-handled tools give us the relief of being able to stand up and do a similar job, but standing up. So similar, this is basically a Conaho with a long handle. Really great, again, for getting in amongst little plants or getting the weeds that are kind of detailed in there, but letting you stand upright. Really important to try to maintain some posture while we're weeding because it can be grueling. Um, similarly, a hula hoe, but with a long handle. Very similar. This one you can see is a little bit bigger. So while this one might be better for kind of plants that grow closer together, this is great. We actually often will plant, our plants are usually about that allowing for this distance so that we can easily hula ho through things as mo as efficiently as possible. Um, and then we have two different weeder, wire weeders that we use. Um, this one is by Two Bad Cats in Vermont. So we ordered these ones from them and we love them. They have a really nice metal handle, so really sturdy. And then you can kind of see, I'm not really sure how well you can see, but they have this offset blade that um, allows for us to weed them. It allows us to weed just like we do with a hula hoe. Better for smaller weeds, really great if the soil is just a little bit dried out. 
because it just cuts right through and gets those tiny little weeds before they really have a chance to be a problem. And then side, the side has this kind of smaller, again, detail-oriented weeding so that we can get in amongst maybe more delicate plants that would need a little bit more precision. So that one's from Two Bag Cats. And then this is from Johnny's. This is a wire weeder as well. We have this smaller head on it, but this one is awesome because it's interchangeable. So when you buy it, or when we bought it, um, we bought different lane or different width we wire weeder parts. So you can just unscrew this little screw and then you replace them. This is the one that we use the most, um, or at least we have this year because we have the two bad cats, which has a little bit of a wider head. This one allows for, again, precision weeding, really great on a little bit of a dry soil base, um, but you know, it can work wherever we need it in a pinch. So all of these are designed to make our lives a little bit easier as far as weeds go. I hope that some of these are maybe ones that you're already using because you've discovered how awesome they are. But if you haven't, hopefully these will give you some ideas of things that you can use on your farm or in your garden to help you control those weeds. All of these tools are available online. So you can find them at johnnysseeds.com. The Two Bad Cats uh, tool is available on their website. Uh, Amazon has lots of these hand tools available. You can also probably find some at your local tractor supply or farm store. So check those out. See if you can find tools and if you have ones that you use on your farm or in your garden that you find very indisposable, let us know because we're always looking to find great new tools. Thanks for swinging by the farm. We'll see you next time.